Okay, so we're on day 10. Before I start this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get on with the video. Hello YouTube with the standard YouTube clap for my hair update. So we are on day 10 now since I had the hair transplant, and it's gone all right. The, the whole sort of recovery process at first, it was quite sore. Mine felt quite bruised. My friends didn't really feel that. Um, I'll give you a bit of a closer look to see how it is. So the scabs have started to come off by themselves. I'm not doing anything like apart from occasionally knocking it by mistake, but trying our best not to. So you can see the hairs are like still in around the side here and obviously across the top. And then at the top of the head, there was a bit of a strip going back and then a few on the crown there. So the donor area as well is starting to come back. It's just obviously just going to be a little bit thinner until it, it starts to thicken up a bit. So, like I say, there was a bit of swelling, um, which has gone down quite dramatically now, which is good. Um, painful, mm, it was painful in the sense like, I think it was just bruised, like the, the sheer sort of force of just putting the, putting the hairs in. Um, left it just a bit tender. So that's gone down. I was just managing that, like say, with paracetamol and some ibuprofen. From a training perspective, so I've not been in the gym since. What I have been doing though is trying to get out on walks when it's not absolutely peeing it down here in England. <laughs> so I'm happy with how it's gone. We've done the washing up to this part has just been using the spray that you spray it on, leave it for 40 minutes, tap it down, leave for another 15 minutes, and then you get the shampoo, put it on a sponge, a bit of water and then you just sort of like drizzle it on and get it all in your eyes and stuff you leave that on for another 10 minutes and then you can wash it off so from tomorrow we've got to change up the the washing routine and i'm gonna have to look at that again um but i know we've got to try and get the last of these scabs off just to help the hair actually grow through now, i was in the gym yesterday and a guy just said Oh, I thought you just shaved your head. So it, it's not you're, not, you're not walking around thinking, you know, I'm like a walking science experiment anymore, like those first few days. So 10th wash done, we can see like, there's not really any scabs left. Did actually go to the barbers today, I got the beard trimmed as well, and he did just go around the back, just to tidy it up, because it was just getting a bit of a mess and I couldn't wait that long. They did say like, you can go back after like three weeks to get it trimmed, but we didn't touch anything on the top, literally, just did the beard fade. Um, this is coming along nicely. So today we're gonna go and use the new shampoo. So this is one that they've sold us, and with that you've just gotta put some like vitamin, like a 10 mil vitamin, liquid into the shampoo and then now we're just going to put it on and like just give it a gentle massage and I think we can just do this daily um, and then they did say to reduce the frequency later on but just to keep the skin fresh and the massaging actually helps the circulation to the scalp so I'm going to get on not going to document that because no one wants to see that so I will just get on and clean my hair guys so update 16 days after the hair transplant um, here's a quick look Kitchen light isn't great, great, but I mean, you can see where the hairline is. You can see where the hair is growing through. But it's still there for now. So when I'm massaging that shampoo in, I do keep looking and there is some like little hairs on, on my hand, which is totally normal at this stage. So within like a, a month, I think, of the hair transplant, this hair is gonna fall out and then it's gonna regrow thicker and better than ever. So I just can't wait for that, but it's gonna be a nervous sort of time frame when that hair falls out. From the gym side of things, so I was planning on having three weeks off the gym. I didn't, I got told I was having a photo shoot on Wednesday and it's now Sunday. So I did jump back in the gym like four days ago. Didn't go hell for leather, um, you know, I wanna take things as steady as I can. However, I did wanna get back in the gym and some other friends have already. Um, so I've, yeah, back into training, um, just leaving a few reps in the tank at the end of each set. Um, and I did go back to doing cardio, um, and I'm just out walking as well, so we'll get this photo shoot done. I hope my hair doesn't fall out by Wednesday. Yes, guys, so I'm just at work, and I thought I'd update you now because it's exactly three weeks since I had the hair transplant. Um, I was planning, like I said, about, I was planning on going to the gym after three weeks, however, I did go after two, and I've started to wear like hats and stuff now because it's fucking freezing. But um, I'm at the stage where it is coming out, so it's at that 
What the fuck stage? Um, I'll give you a closer, closer look now. Um, so like I say, it just looks like it's thinning. Um, there's still some there. Oh yeah, and I did get a haircut. So it said after three weeks you could get a haircut. I had a photo shoot like on Wednesday, so I just cut that a little bit short. Um, literally, like, um, but it was okay. I mean, it's not damaged anything. Scabs are all gone. It's healed. It's not painful. It's still like a little bit numb here. Um, but I spoke to one of our PTs who'd had one done as well, but here in England, and his is exactly the same. So it's nothing to worry about. I think. Um, Obviously, there'd be like a little bit of nerve damage when they're actually like jabbing you with them. So I think that's totally normal. Um, but yeah, this is the stage that I am at. Donor area is like fully healed via the skin phase because it just looks a little bit like thinner uh, as you'd expect with them taking tons of hairs out of your head. Um, so, you know, all in all, just want it to grow, but it's gonna, you know, if it, it falls out, the follicles in there, it's gonna grow again. Just be patient. That's what I keep telling myself. But yeah, so guys, I wanted to just update you now because exactly like I said, three weeks. Um, if you have any questions, do put them in the comments and I will keep you up to date as usual. Like, I didn't want to just do like a, a video after a week and a week and a week because there's not going to be too much change, but I think this is quite like a significant change that's going to go on now. So, like I say, hit me up with any questions, um, give us a like, and obviously, follow. Stop, creep, grip that, squeeze. She wanna fuck with the elbows, fuck with the gang, them dog, or beach, or beach. All my sheep is active, no pretty.